Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of Life Group. We're so glad that you're here and that y'all are together. Um, we're just continuing in this series of citizens. We've been talking about our identity in God, our identity in America, and how we connect those two. Um, so we're going to read part of 1 Peter. Um, 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So if I had to guess, you've heard this verse a few times over the past few weeks. Um, we've just been talking about it and growing deeper in it together more and more. Um, and it really just has to do with your identity and your identity and God and who he says that you are. So this verse says that you are chosen, you are royal and holy, and you are God's own people. And that's the part that we're going to be focusing on, the God's own people part. What does that mean? We can say all day long that we are God's, but how do we live that out? So let's go to verse 10. Verse 10 says, once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So taking ownership of our identity in God means exactly what this verse says. It means claiming God and receiving mercy. Um, that second part can be kind of hard sometimes. Have you ever done something um, that you know was wrong and you had to admit it to somebody or you just felt guilty about it? How did you react to that? How did the other person react to that? God says right here that he gives us mercy and that we should receive it. So that's one side of this. But this verse isn't necessarily just talking about us as individuals. It seems like it's talking to us as a group, right? So let's read it again through that lens. Let's read it like it's talking to all of us. So it says, once y'all were not a people, but now y'all are God's people. Once y'all had not received mercy, but now you all have received mercy. This verse reads true for you and for all of us. If we are God's, then we have been forgiven. And that's true for all of God's people. So this means that there's two sides to mercy, right? There's receiving and there's giving. And both can be hard. We talked about how receiving mercy can be difficult when we feel guilty or we know that we've done wrong. But how hard can it be to forgive someone else who's done something to us? But here's the thing. We are God's people. You are God's. Your neighbor is God's. Your life group, you are God's. And so if that is true, then we are all forgiven. That sounds too good to be true. And that sounds so easy, but in practice, it can be so much harder. Um, so I want y'all to talk as a group about what that looks like, to receive mercy for yourselves, but then to go and to give mercy to your friends through that mercy that you have received. You are God's own, your friends are God's own, and we have all been forgiven through his great immeasurable love. Let's live like that's true.